Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I just wanted to go ahead and do a showcase and demonstration of some of the new vault upgrades that have come out um, and uh, explain how to use it for some of the newer players. Um, so with that said, if you're not familiar with what the vault program is, uh, it's an external program uh, that's available through D2R Launch, uh, which is another of our kind of custom programs. Um, but what it'll let you do is uh, essentially store infinite items from D2R. Um, um, so you can take items from in-game, put them into the vault, uh, you know, keep them there for a while, then retrieve them when you need them. Um, it also has an item gallery and a grail tracker feature um, that'll just add some extra quality of life content for you there also. Um, so with that said, if you guys are enjoying this kind of content, make sure you like and subscribe helps everybody out. And be sure to check out the video description below for important links to our website, Discord, Patreon, and some of the files that you'll use today. With all that out of the way, let's jump right into how you get started. Uh, so again, this is available through D2R Launch. Um, if you have not set up D2R Launch yet, um, I do recommend checking out the video guide for that in the video description below. Uh, but assuming you've already done that and uh, gone through the self-update process, uh, you should see a screen like this. Uh, at the very bottom here on the last link, uh, we'll see an option for the vault. Um, once more, when you click that for the first time, it's going to go ahead and go through an update process. But assuming you're already up to date, we're just going to click that and let it run. When you first see, uh, when you first launch the program, you're going to see something similar to this. All we need to do is go to this top drop down for mod choice and select the mod that you're currently playing. So I'm going to select our in-house mod here, and it's going to give me a pop-up telling me it needs to close to finish some changes. So I'm going to go ahead and select OK. And then once that's done, I'm just going to relaunch it. So uh, it's all closed. I'll go ahead and relaunch it. And now it's going to load up with the actual vault system. So a uh, couple things I want to point out. Um, we can just hit start on this main screen if you want. Um, it doesn't really matter. But on the right hand side, you're going to see your shared tabs. Um, so here are all the tabs that you, you know, have unlocked in the game. And obviously any content that you might have will be showed in here. Uh, I'll show how all that works in just a minute. And then over here on the left, you have the kind of vault side of things. Um, so how many items in your in your vault, uh, as well as where they'll all display. So uh, for now, I'm just going to hit the filter button. I'm not going to select any uh, specific Ah, can't talk today. Specific filters, I'm just going to hit apply to show all items. And so as you can see, it found all 622 items. No errors there. That's always a good thing. And we're going to go ahead and just say we wanted to pull a couple of these out. So um, I'm going to pull out just some kind of some random items. We'll just go here. I don't know. We'll just pull out random stuff. Uh, filter, I want to say that maybe I want to look at some sets, so I'm going to apply that filter so it just shows me only set items. We're going to go ahead and pull some of those out, and uh, maybe I don't remember what they're called, but I know they're boots. Uh, there's some kind of set boots, so let's go ahead and apply that. And so, oh yeah, they were Cow King's boots, that's what they were. So you can just kind of do stuff like that um, to find specific things you want. Maybe you're looking for, again, you don't remember exactly what it was called. You just know it was stone something. Uh, you can type in stone there and it's going to find all items that kind of have that matching, uh, you know, item name or, or something in the name that matches that. So again, you can filter things as you want. Um, you can choose specific sets. Um, maybe you want to see everything from the Immortal King set. Um, you can do all this kind of stuff. So that's the, the filtering and kind of in and out portion. Um, so let's go ahead and we've moved everything into tab one of our shared stash. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and launch the game. Again, we'll just use Detour Launch for that. And I do apologize, got uh, quite a bit running on the computer today, so it's a little slower than normal. But we'll get this loaded in, and we should see all of our items in our shared stash now. And there we go. So there's all the items again that we pulled from storage. And let's go ahead, and we're going to just say, nope, I want to keep those now. And we'll go ahead and exit game. Uh, now, I'm going to go ahead and leave D2R open and go back to the vault. If the vault is already running before you open D2R, then all you need to do is go back to the main screen, hit reload, 
and you can see that all those items have been removed from the stash. It's updated everything. Um, it does not work while D2R is fully open since they use a lot of the same files. Um, so uh, anyways, we've kind of updated everything and you can see we only have 616 mm -hmm. items. Uh, thank you, Autodesk. Um, so that is the in and out kind of portion. Um, and if you wanted to do something, let's go ahead and I'm just gonna show all item types again. And I'm going to randomly move some more stuff, but this time I'm going to show you don't have to do things one by one, especially when you're trying to deposit things. Um, so I just kind of click any, you know, where in my shared stash area, and I can select the move all button, uh, and it'll move my entire tab at once or whatever, uh, full of items back into the vault. So that's how you can use the actual storage portion. Uh, now let's move on to kind of the item gallery and some of its features. Um, so from within the item gallery, um, just as it sounds, you can kind of view all the different items in the game, uh, but it also acts as like a grail tracker. Um, so you can see in this example here, I have an X next to pole arms, but for everything else, I have that green check mark, and that's because I've collected all the items within these other sets, um, but I have not collected one of the pole arm not pole arm items. You can see this is the one we just transferred in game, uh, and this is kind of reading the vault to, uh, you know, see which items you have. So um, that's why it's missing that one. Otherwise, we'd have, you know, all the items. And you can browse through the different categories. Um, and again, you can see how it kind of just tracks that progress. Um, you can see because of those items transferred, I'm missing a couple sets and stuff like that. So. Um, that is the, again, just the gallery portion, the, the tracker portion, um, just for quality of life. Obviously, most of you will care about the actual storage system, um, but if you wanted to browse some of the things that the mod has to offer, or again, track your progress, um, all this you can do. Um, and then just to show you real quick, so I sh showed you one of our in-house mods. I'm going to go and just kind of select a, a basically a random other mod um, that has tried to add support, uh, you know, for their... Uh, systems with this. Oh, let's go ahead and close that. And again, um, it needed to close to uh, update the files for the new mod. And now you can see when I go in here, all the items have changed. Um, it's loading up different tabs. Oh, looks like there might be an update needed for some of their files. Uh, anyways, let's go ahead and open that. We'll go ahead and check out what the uh, that error was. I think that was still one of the uh, old charm characters. Okay, so yeah, everything else was fine. Sorry about that. Um, and then again, you know, when you filter, now there's a different database, different items. Um, you know, this uh, mod has a corruption system, so you'll see some of their stats pop up. We'll work on string issues and stuff uh, in time. And then once more, they have their own item gallery with their own, uh, obviously, unique items and stuff like that. Um, so it's going to go ahead and update everything for uh, the mod you're playing. Um, again, this is in development, but this last update, uh, added a lot of stability um, and uh, as soon as uh, things kind of get fleshed out uh, yeah I think it'll be uh, a real um, nice improvement for everybody so anyways thanks for listening to me yammer on and getting to show you how some of this works I hope you guys can enjoy it and thanks for sticking around to the very end take care bye